doing referencing correctly can be really time consuming. I mean, there's so many different styles like Harvard, APA, Chicago, and each of them has different rules. Each journal has, you know, slightly different rules for how to format in-text referencing. And then, you know, that um, end of text referencing, it, it can really be difficult. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to use um, how to re <clears throat> That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to use an app called Zotero in order to very quickly and automatically format referencing. And this is going to allow you literally with one click to format your referencing for any referencing style, change it on the go and save you tons and tons of time. So let's dive right into it. If you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowiak and I run Academic English Now where I help early career researchers write more research papers. And in this video, we're going to be talking about um, one of my favorite apps, which is um, Zotero. And it really allows you to automatically format references in your text, allows you to, you know, to do that correctly, quickly, and allows you to change um, the referencing style anytime you want. So let's dive right in and see how to use it. All right, so the first thing that uh, you want to go, you want to do is to go to Zotro.org and download the program. It's available both for Windows and Mac and also for Linux, right? So just make sure that you choose the right um, version and download the right um, program for you, whether it's uh, for Windows or um, or for Mac, right? So that, that would be the first thing. And this is going to download this program, right? And the second thing is to install the Chrome connector. So this is like a plugin for Chrome um, browser. And there are also plugins for other browsers. If you happen not to be using Chrome, um, don't panic. Um, you can also use the Edge connector or Safari if you're on a, on a Mac. So these are the first two things that you wanna download. Now, once you've got them, um, you will have the main program in here, the main Zotero program with um, where you can start saving um, the research. And then when you open Microsoft Word, you will see a new tab here called Zotero. So the first thing that you've got to do is just simply click on Add Edit Citation. And um, the first time that you use it, you need to select the citation style. Right. Don't worry if you know you need to change it later because you can just change it with one click. So that's super easy, right? So we we're gonna select APA just here, right? And then you can add the citation. Obviously, you know in order to be able to add um, citations, um, you need things in Zotero library. And I'm gonna show you in a second how to download. But I I just wanted to show you how to add a citation in here and how to insert bibliography it's very simple so the reference list slash bibliography if you just click here Zotero is going to insert it for you and obviously if we want to change the style we can do that if we just go to document preferences and we change the style um, we can do it here if we let's cha change it to nature and then Zotero changes it immediately right and if you if the style that you need to use isn't here what you can do is um, go to manage styles, right? And you can download um, download a style that isn't here. If you click on get additional styles, right? You will be able to find other ones, right? For different disciplines, like let's say go to anthropology and then it will list all the different styles that the community has added here. Because sometimes, you know, what might happen is that you're writing for a particular journal right and they have their own particular uh, style they're not following for example APA so that's really really useful so if the style isn't here don't panic just get additional styles and download it right so that's how you add citations in here and then you know how do you download them so if we um, if we just go to uh, Google Scholar right and then we're going to search for um, papers. So I'm just going to search for my name. Why not? 
right? And then uh, we're gonna find studies in here, right? So what you can do is if you've got it, and this is gonna work um, for any database, right? If you've got a list here, you will see that you've got a folder sign in here once you've installed the social connector for Chrome. And if you do this, you could actually download all the papers by that listed in here, right? So this is really useful if you're looking for a particular author and you just want to download all the papers by that particular author, but you could just download one, right? Now, what you're also going to see is if you open that paper up, right, in a journal, if you're on a journal's website, um, what you're gonna see in here is this sign of a paper, right? Um, and this will download it as a journal article, right? And the same, the same is going to happen if something is a book chapter, for example, right? Um, you're going to see a similar sign of an of an open book. This is a thesis, right? So you're going to see this sign, right? It's going to download it, save it as a as a thesis. Now, if you were just on a random website like this, you're going to see a sign like this, right? But if you try to save it to Zotero, it's not going to do anything or it's going to save the wrong information. So you've got to make sure that, you know, the sign here is a sign of like, you know, a thesis or a book, book chapter, paper and so on to save it correctly. Now, when it's saved to Zotero, it just saves it into your library and you can see all the work here. What I would recommend is that you create subfolders, right? As you can see, I've got subfolders in here and sub subfolders. This just helps you organize your work and find the papers later that you're looking for. And it's just, you know, it's just much neater, you know, otherwise everything will be just one long list and it will be chaos. So I would definitely recommend um, doing this and a very easy way to do this is just, you know, have the main folders as the main topics you know that you're reading and then under each main topic you can have smaller subtopics where you will be saving those papers right one important thing is when you've saved the paper you want to make sure that all the information here is present and is correct because sometimes what happens is that you know Zotero just downloads information from the internet so it doesn't really know what it's downloading it's just gonna download whatever it's given from the internet so sometimes you know some information might be missing or you might you know you might see a particular title just downloaded in all capital letters like this one right um, if we see that the title is just in all capital letters and obviously if you now put this into uh, Microsoft Word in the reference list it's going to be listed in capital letters let me let me show you um, I think the author was um, Garnier Right, so if we add that, look how it's added it to the reference list. And that's obviously incorrect. It shouldn't be all in capital letters. But the reason why it is in capital letters is because it's in Zotero in here. So you will need to go in here and you know write the title um, in small letters without all caps. Right. Sometimes, you know, maybe like the issue of the journal will be missing or the volume or the year. So you want to make sure that everything that Zotero downloaded from the Internet has been added here. Right. So that's it. That's how you use um, Zotero. And I would really, really recommend it. It's going to save you tons of time when it comes to referencing and it's going to make your referencing much more correct um, as well. So if you've enjoyed this video and you want to work with me more closely, then book a free one-to-one -one strategy session where we're going to identify your exact problems, um, pinpoint your goals, and also outline a personalized strategy that will help you to achieve those goals faster. And then if it sounds like it's a good fit, we can, t we can talk a little bit further about how exactly we could work together and how I could help you. And the link to book that free one-to-one -one strategy session is somewhere in the description to this video.